Glenn from Smartburn. It's May 2020. I hope everybody's managing okay with being with the restrictions and being at home. Certainly we're hearing so many more people have got wood heaters on more so than ever and people are lighting wood heaters that haven't been lit for, for, for a number of years. I wanted to um, say thank you so much to all of those customers who have routinely purchased their Smartburn for the start of this winter and to those customers who have found Smartburn for the first time this year, thank you for choosing. I want to address two particular issues that we're getting a lot of phone calls through in our office. The first one is, do I need to sweep my flu before I use the smart burn, or will the smart burn on its own clean my flu? The, I've addressed this in previous videos before, but the simple answer is, smart burn is designed as a chimney flu cleaner, and it will clean a flu, and it will unblock a mostly blocked over flu, and keep that flu clean for the, about the three months lifespan of the smart burn device. As long as your flu is not so blocked over that your fire won't start, it won't draw, because obviously the smart burn needs to get hot to work. If that's the case, then you will need to brush your flu, and we're always happy to recommend that you should engage the services of a chimney sweep and a professional to check your flu from time to time, to check for structural issues, corrosion issues, and other things, as well as sweeping your flu. But the smart burn will clean your flu, that is what it's designed to do, and if it's peace of mind and you want to know that you're safe, the smart burn will keep your flu clean um, throughout the course of the winter. The other question we get asked a lot is about the fire brick. In recent years we've been recommending the use of a fire brick for the smart burn to elevate the smart burn up out of the ash bed level. It is a recommendation, it's not essential, but by raising the smart burn up out of the ash level, it allows the ends of the tube to not get buried in ash and allows those vapours to release from the tube and gives it a flat, stable base to sit on. Fire bricks are available from any of the heating stores that sell new wood heaters as a spare part where they're a line-up of the firebox. They're quite cheap. Buy the smallest one you can and it will last you many years, but it's not essential. You can put the smart burn on the floor of your firebox. I want to say thank you so much from all our family and all our staff for all those people, thank you for choosing the Smart Burn. Thank you for using the Smart Burn this winter. We wish you well for a safe winter and a warm winter, and hopefully we're all free to move again soon. Thank you so much.